Black is beautiful. Black is elegant. Black is black. Now what we have here is the Montero Sport Black Series painted in white diamond. Weird? Probably. Good looking? Hell yeah! Let's do this. Hello guys, I'm Reagan and welcome back to another car review. If you're new to my channel, I want you to click that subscribe button for your regular dose of Philippine automotive content. If you're my subscriber already, well sit back, relax and enjoy the show. But first, click that like button. Also special thanks to Mitsubishi Motors Philippines for providing the Montero Sport Black Series to do this review. The Montero Sport is the third vehicle in Mitsubishi's local lineup to receive the Black Series treatment uh, following the Expander Black and the Strada Black. Now there are two colors available for the Montero Sport Black Series, an actual jet black mica and this, painted in white diamond paint. Uh, black. No, it's white diamond paint. Black? Okay, fine, fine, fine. Black it is. Now, the Montero Sport Black Series has a retail price of 1,981,000 Philippine pesos, although you'll have to shell out an extra 15 grand to get it in this white diamond paint. Black. Ah, okay, fine, whatever. So what exactly makes this Montero Sport Black Series special when you compare it to, let's say, a regular Montero Sport GLS 4x2? Well, for one thing, the paint. Now, I know this is not black. Black. But by golly, this white diamond paint job is truly something else. Now, I'm pretty sure my camera isn't capturing it, guys. Uh, but this white paint has a combination of a metallic and a pearlescent sheen to it uh, that make it truly stand out. Now, other than the paint job, we also have a blacked out front grille here, although the side trimmings of this dynamic shield front fascia uh, still remains in chrome. Now, I find that a bit of a miss though, because uh, this would have looked better if this were also in glossy um, black uh, paint, or if, let's say, they went with fancier black chrome. Now, the good thing here is we also have a blacked out front skid plate there to complete the overall black series look of this Montero Sport. Now, other than that, guys, well, the front fascia is pretty similar to other Montero Sports or the Montero Sport GLS. We still get a full LED lighting units here from the LED headlights, LED DRLs, down to the LED fog lights. The side receives some Black Series treatment as well, although I feel that Mitsubishi didn't go all out. You see, we get some gorgeous black bits here uh, from the blacked out roof which, by the way, goes well with this white diamond paint. And we also have a set of blacked out roof rails as well as the blacked out 18-inch alloy wheels. However, when you turn your attention to the side mirror housing of this thing, the power folding side mirrors still have a chrome housing there as well as the window trim is in chrome, the door handles is still in chrome, and even the step board is just a regular aluminum step board. You see, if it were up to me and I'd want to go all out as a Black Series Montero, uh, I'll paint this side mirror housing into glossy black as well as the window trimmings, the door handles, and heck, even the step board. Now, that's just me, guys. That's just my opinion. But as it is, it still looks classy. Although, yeah, it's not as Black Series as I want it to be. 
Now, for the mechanical bits of this Montero Sport Black Series, well, it's pretty identical uh, to a Montero Sport GLS 4x2. We get four-wheel, get this, ventilated disc brakes here. And for the suspension, we have a, we have a double wishbone setup in the front and a coil spring with stabilizer bar at the back. Now, the ground clearance is a healthy 218 millimeters, while its flood wading depth stands at 700 millimeters, which is not so bad, guys. It's not bad at all. The rear end only receives a couple of Black Series bits. First, we get a blacked out rear spoiler here, and second, we get a blacked out, well, rear skid plate to help complement the one found up front. Now, as for the rest of the rear, well, it's a pretty typical Montero Sport GLS 4x2 rear end. We get the usual LED taillights here in a teardrop design, and we also have, well, a power lift gate that also comes with a kick function. Just make sure you kick it on the sides, on the both sides, either of the two sides, and you kick it in an up and down motion, uh, similar to the one we first saw in the Montero Sport GT 4x4. Uh, now that we have this power lift gate open, you'll see that uh, we've got uh, well, the same amount of space that can be found in the other Montero Sport variants in the country. Now, I don't have the uh, exact um, space figures here, guys, uh, but we don't really need that because I have with me my medium-sized luggage. Now, this is my medium-sized luggage, guys, and with the third row folded, uh, you'll notice that you can put one, two, probably squeeze a third one there, and a fourth one on top, and maybe a fifth one here, a smaller one here. So, yeah, it's good enough, it's large enough uh, to make a run to the airport uh, whenever you're picking up um, several relatives. All Montes found here in the Philippines come with the same engine, uh, which is a 2.4-liter, four-cylinder Myvec turbo diesel motor uh, that pumps out 179 horsepower and 430 newton meters of torque. Now, the power is sent to the rear wheels via the newer and more updated 8-speed automatic transmission sourced from ASIN. So now we can say that this Montero Sport Black Series comes with a Toyota transmission. Uh, why do I say that? Well guys, ASIN is majority owned by Toyota Motor Corporation, so now you know. Now as for the fuel consumption figures, well, I was quite surprised by how fuel efficient this Montero Sport Black Series is uh, when you compare it to the top spec Montero Sport GT 4x4. You see, on a highway run coming to this location, uh, I was able to get 15.7 kilometers per liter, which is 1.7 kilometers per liter more than what I got with the uh, Montero Sport GT 4x4. Now, for the city driving of this thing, well, I was able to get 10 kilometers per liter. So, yeah, I guess the reason why we're more fuel efficient here is this Black Series is actually 65 pounds lighter than the top spec Montero Sport 4x4. The Montero Sport always had a snug cabin here, which gives me that wraparound feeling like I'm in the cockpit of a race car. Now, that, it might be the racing heritage that the Mitsubishi has, uh, which is why we have this uh, slim cabin. Or maybe it's the fact that the Montero Sport is really just one of the slimmer SUVs available in the market. Still, guys, the layout, the materials, and the features here in this Montero Sport Black Series 4x2 is identical to the top-spec Montero Sport GT 4x4. Now, we get the same leather-wrapped um, power seats here. We have the same leather-wrapped steering wheel, and it also comes with paddle shifters. And this steering wheel also adjusts for tilt, and it also telescopes. Now, this... Um, Montero Sport Black Series also gets the same fully digital instrument gauge cluster there. And if you're going to think about uh, the differences between this Montero Sport Black Series 4x2 and the Sida Top Spec GT, well, most of the, well, all of the differences can be found in the safety features. Uh, you see, as you can see on your screen, guys, this Montero Sport Black Series gets a healthy amount of safety features and driver assist aids although we are down by one airbag here when you compare it to the gt and we also don't have rear cross traffic alert 
and we don't have blind spot monitoring. Uh, still guys, we still have a forward collision alert here and we also have emergency braking. Plus, we also have the all important adaptive cruise control. Now that's all well and good guys. So yeah, you'd see that this um, Montero Sport Black Series 4x2 is actually a huge, like it's a really, it's really good value for money guys. Now when you look at the infotainment system of this thing, as I said, it's still identical to the top spec GT. We get an 8 inch touchscreen here with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto plus the image of a 360 degree view camera. Now granted, the image of the 360 degree view camera is not the best that I've seen out there, although it is perfectly usable. Now, another quirk with this infotainment system is that sometimes it could get a little bit iffy. Uh, sometimes the screen wouldn't be as responsive as I want it to be. But other than that, guys, well, it is still a perfectly decent infotainment system. Now, all of the other bits here are practically identical to the top spec Montero Sport GT. We get a, a fully automatic dual zone climate control system there we have an electronic park brake with an auto hold feature and i love that whenever you put this thing in park the auto the, well, the electronic park brake automatically engages and when you slot it into drive it automatically disengages so that's another good thing and we also have here a, a tiny receptacle for your smart key fob plus a couple of cup holders which of course guys i was subjected to my clean canteen test now this is my 600 ml clean canteen so let's see if the montero sport black series will pass perfectly well so the montero sport black series it passes my 600 ml clean canteen test now as for the cabin materials and the layout here well the montero sport black series has a combination of hard plastics and uh, some soft touch materials uh, the top of the dashboard is hard plastic see as well as the top of the door cards uh, but the high traffic areas here like the like the door handle the elbow rest on the door cards as well as your your center armrest here are all wrapped in white stitch leather and i'm happy to see that even the sides of the center tunnel here are also padded and they're also wrapped in stitch leather the Montero Sport is a tall SUV, so you will appreciate the fact that it also comes with a grab handle right here on the B pillar, making it easier to climb into the Montero Sport Black Series. So now that we're inside, you'll see that being one of the slimmer SUVs in the market, well, the absolute space here on the second row seats is not really going to be as big as the other contenders in the category. You see guys, uh, it would be best for you to just limit the number of passengers here to two people. Uh, that way everyone is comfortable. Uh, you could still put a third person in the middle but it will start to feel like you are sardines packed in a can. So there's also a little bit of a tunnel there so yeah, it's not really going to be ideal for the person sitting here in the middle. Now as for the actual space, well I'm 5 foot 6 guys, this is my driving position here. And the, the knee room is not a big issue because we get around 7 to 8 inches of knee room here. Uh, but the headroom is a tad bit on the small side. We get around 3 to 4 inches worth of headroom here. As I said, well, it's not really the most spacious in the category. Now, as for the amenities though, well, this Montero Sport Black Series is well equipped. We get ceiling mounted AC vents here. We also have a pair of USB-A charge ports here as well as a home socket. And we have a center armrest that hides a couple of cup holders. Now as for the third row seats of this Montero Sport Black Series, well, I'm not going to go back there guys because I've already done that in my review of the Montero Sport GT 4x4. Uh, if you haven't watched that, you can click the link above but in a nutshell uh, the third row seats are really meant more for kids or let's say adults going on short trips because while there is enough space there on the third row seats uh, the sitting position is not really the most comfortable uh, because your knees will be much higher than your hips.
All right, guys, so we are now driving the Mitsubishi Montero Sport, and I am with my family. We're here on the highway. We're off to a, to a nice place somewhere in the south. And guys, uh, you know, the Montero Sport has always been a fan favorite here in the Philippines. And if you think about it, well, it is fully loaded. It has a good amount of safety in the features and it's also well priced. Uh, but if you dig a lot further and deeper, uh, you will see the main reason why a lot of Filipino families would buy a Montero Sport. Uh, you see, it could be traced all the way back to the early 90s uh, when the Mitsubishi Pajero gained popularity here in the country. See, back in the 90s, uh, if you're driving a Pajero, uh, then everyone knows that you're a big man. Uh, some people would even say that you're probably in politics. Uh, but here's the bottom line, guys. If you've, if you've accomplished enough in life back in the 90s that you have the, the money to purchase a Mitsubishi Pajero and drive one, uh, then you are a made man. You are somebody who has arrived. In Tagalog, may dating ka. And that has uh, stuck to the minds of a lot of uh, Filipinos, especially the dads out there. So when the Mitsubishi Montero Sport arrived here in the Philippines, well, all of a sudden, you have a very cost-effective option uh, that will help people achieve that aspiration to own a Mitsubishi Pajero. And, well, it's, it would be this, this Mitsubishi Pajero Sport. Or, of course, we call this Montero Sport here in the Philippines. Now, the Pajero was aspirational in the 90s because it was so expensive. So, yeah, you really have to have a lot of funds uh, to buy one. Uh, but this Montero Sport is quite affordable, easily within reach, amongst the middle class. So, yes, in a way, this Mitsubishi Montero Sport fulfills the aspirational dreams of a lot of Filipino families out there uh, to have you know, a, a vehicle uh, that has arrived. Of course, when you compare this Montero Sport to its peers in the category, well, you'll also see that it has always been ahead of its class. I mean, the Montero Sport has always been well spec not just in features, uh, but also when it comes to safety. Now, that is of paramount importance, especially to dads like me. You know, if you have a vehicle that is super safe, you know, the family will be, you know, will have a supreme confidence that each and every family trip you take is going to be safe. And that is one uh, bit of peace of mind that all you know, all Filipino dads would love to have. Now, when I did my uh, Montero Sport GT 4x4 video review, uh, I did mention that the NVH is also on the good side. Now, I got some comments on that video that's saying that they, they don't agree with me, that the NVH of the Montero is, um, is really not that good. It's kind of noisy inside. Uh, but guys, <laughs> I'll have to... I'll have to say again what I said in the Montero Sport GT 4x4 video. And the NVH is actually pretty good for a diesel pickup base SUV. Right? So we're traveling on the highway now. I'm at 80 kilometers per hour. And the, there's a tad bit of wind noise, but it's not too offensive. Okay? If it's too offensive, you'd be hearing it in my microphone, but you're not. Right? And the, my kids always go. They, they tend to fall asleep whenever we go driving in this Montero Sport. So, when it comes to NVH, uh, well, of course, you cannot expect this to be as quiet and as refined as a gasoline-powered or a hybrid-powered vehicle. This is still a manly diesel SUV, uh, but if you're just driving at a relaxed pace, like what I'm doing now, uh, I find that the diesel rattle from the engine uh, to be on the more, well, on the quieter side. So, yeah, I stand by my statement in my, in my video review of the Montero Sport GT 4x4. Uh, the Montero Sport has a good level of NVH as long as you keep it within 
a speed limit. <laughs> Overall guys, well, the Montero Sport, in all of its variants and trim, is a manly and dependable 7-seater diesel SUV that can run with all of the others. I mean, it could not just keep up, but it could even lead the pack, uh, despite being a platform that is like 7 years old already. Now, this Montero Sport Black Series further adds to that uh, luxury look to that presence uh, that a lot of um, Filipino families are aspiring for and in that regard guys since Mitsubishi Motors Philippines gave us a Montero Sport in a black series uh, format uh, I can say that it is one really good move from Mitsubishi Philippines because yes it's dependable it's reliable it has a good feature set and it looks darn good with the current generation Montero Sport on its seventh year already well adding a few blacked out exterior bits here is a good way to freshen up the look now while this Montero Sport may not be the newest SUV available in the market uh, it has aged gracefully and it still has the performance features and tech found in newer and yeah, mind you, more expensive SUVs in the category. Now, the Montero Sport has always been ahead of its time, which is one of the main reasons why this is one of the most favorite SUVs here in the Philippines. Thanks for watching.